Hey guys, it's Trice here, and we're getting the Bose Torque out of this inline 5 engine in automation. We're in our second engine in the inline category, and there are only a few more engines left to go. So let's get on with this engine build. So the first thing you gotta do on the top of portion of your screen is you set the year all the way out to maximize it to the year of 2020 for every single component to this engine. And after you selected the inline 5 configuration, you may choose any block material that you may choose from. I'm gonna select magnesium for the sake of weight. And for the boring stroke, like always, is you set this, square this off to 120 millimeters each for the boring stroke to get the engine size to 6,786 cubic centimeters, or round it up will equal to 6.8 liters with a dual overhead cam 5 valve, and again, whatever head material that you may choose, we choose aluminum silicone, again, for the sake of weight. And for this quality slider, as you see right here, for the open beta branch of automation that you have to enroll in, is you set this to a plus 15 for everything. No matter it's for the engine block in general, the top end, bottom end, turbo, fuel system exhaust, for everything. For the balance shaft, we're going to be using a harmonic damper to reduce the chance of the crankshaft from exploding, but it's not going to like 100% eliminate it. For the crank comrades and pistons, we're going to go for the strongest materials as possible, so for the crankshaft, we're going to be selecting the build steel crankshaft, and for the comrades, we'll be set to a lightweight titanium, and the piston set to a regular forged. For the compression, like always in version 4.2, set this to an extreme level of a 15.0 to 1 ratio, with the cam profile set to a 52, and the springs and lifters soften this quite a bit to a 19, and of course, VBT at all cams. For the turbocharger, we're going to be using a single turbo setup with a smart boost system, with the inner core size set to 0 horsepower, so no inner core whatsoever, which is pretty interesting for the setup of this game. And for the aspiration setup details, we'll be using a variable geometry ball bearing setup with the compressor size set for the top option at 120 millimeters. The second setting for the turbine size set to 118 millimeters. The AR compressor trim, the third section, is you set this to a 41. And finally, for the maximum boost, is you set this to a 33.4 psi. For the fuel stub, it's pretty much the usual for this part of the series, so we're going to be using a direct ejection throttle per cylinder standard bid intake running on DevMef fuel, with the fuel mixture set to a 10.4, right on the mark as they click that. The niche timing maxes out all the way to an advanced setting of 100, and the RPM limit is set just a few clicks up to 6500 RPM. And finally, for the exhaust, all this good stuff, so we're using a turbocharged racing headers with a single exhaust, with the exhaust diameter set to 190 millimeters, which equals to 7.5 inches. And of course, no cats, no muffers, bring the quality up. And we get the final horsepower rating of 2,554.5 horsepower at 6,200 RPM. And the highlight of the video is the torque at 2,338.6 pounds feet of torque at 5,000 RPM. And looking at the pistons and the con rods, we're at 99% stress being applied with these two components. But fortunately, which I'll show you in a little bit, the engine does run just as fine despite these two components about to explode up in here. And in BMG, the engine will run to a certain extent, but do be careful, it's gonna overheat later down the road. So for this part of the video, I'm gonna be hearing what this engine will sound like, and I'll cycle through the main important graphs, starting with this powered torque graph, to the torque and boost, the torque and efficiency, and power and efficiency. After showing you all those main important graphs, I'll show you the engine as is by doing some fake gear shifts for a little while, I'll just rev this bad boy for a little bit, and we'll end off the video right there. So bring back the graph visibility, and give you a hear of it right now.
kind of an alright sounding engine, but damn, the turbocharger and headers were going like white hot up in here. If I had ray tracing on, then it'll probably be a little bit less brutal than you see right now. So that'll do it with Automation, the Car Company Tycoon game with this torque heavy inline 5 engine. That's another engine down in the inline category. In the near future, I'll show off the inline 4 and then the i3 to wrap up this part of the series. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future, including my Automation to BMG Drive videos too. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.